Good morning, family. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome to another video. Welcome if you're new. My name is Peggy, and this is Don Juan. What's up, fam? <laughs> we're having to extend at this camp because we're having trouble with our stabilizer. And so we can't get in until a week and a half from now. Yeah. No, two weeks from now. Two weeks from now. We can't get in for two weeks from now. And I just want to make sure that we get it fixed before we go anywhere else. I wish it was something we could do ourselves, but we can't. So, if they have an opening where they could just fit us in, they'll call us. If not, we're going to wait it out. It is hard to get work done on your RV right now because, again, so many people are doing it. Yeah. So, unless we can find somebody else to do it, we're going to be here. So... I like Oklahoma City so far, so it's no big deal to me. Exactly. I'm telling you, they got a lot of steak restaurants. <laughs> and Donald loves his steak. And plus, um, we have to get out and see, because Oklahoma is really big. Like, I, I was telling y'all before, like, I worked for the Yellow Pages. Well, it was Southwestern Bell Yellow Pages in St. Louis. I started working there when I was 19. And we had Yellow Page phone directories or phone books. And I worked in customer service, so when people would call in because something was misspelled in their ad or the wrong phone number or the wrong picture or whatever, if something was wrong with their ad that they placed in the phone book, then they would call us. And so at my little cubicle area, we had every book because you had to have all the big books unless it was a bunch of small cities, then they would put those in the library. And I can remember Oklahoma City being one. Tulsa was a big book. Midwest City was not so big. We're in the Midwest City, Oklahoma area yeah. right now. And right now we're headed to an Amazon locker. Yeah. I was like, I hope they don't have one. That way I won't order anything. But unfortunately, they had the convenience. <laughs> so Peggy was forced. She was, was required to order some stuff. I was forced, I tell you. I was forced. What choice did she have? Honestly, what though. choice? I'm telling you, it's, it's bad. It's all bad. <laughs> I am still sticking to my budget, though. I promise you. So, anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, I will show you guys what I ordered from Amazon when we get back home. I need to find a place that does nails and because oh, yeah. I need to get me a pedicure. I got to find a barbershop place. Oh, yeah, because... <laughs> Usually I go to the military barbershops, but I just thought... I, I walked in and saw a couple of them, and I just don't have the confidence in their military <laughs> haircutting abilities. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on a uh, search for a barbershop in this area. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find a couple good yeah. ones. Yeah, you'll find one. You know where to go. Yeah. I, I wear a hat 90% of the time. But occasionally I take my hat off and I got I want to look my best. La di da, <laughs> la di da. So Peg can get her nails done, I can get me a haircut. It's the only treat I do for myself. Like I'm lacking here. It's the only thing I. Do. But you gotta have a pedicure, honey, because <laughs> you can't wear sandals in your feet. Sure. But anyway, I'm gonna go get a manicure, pedicure. And I'm going to get something done to this head of mine. And what else we got going this week? I don't know. Like I said, we're going to get out and see what this place yeah. has to offer. So yesterday, the uh, the camp host was telling me about all these lakes that have like bike paths and walking paths around them and stuff like that. Oh, okay. uh, she really recommended Hefner Lake. She said because it's like they only allow sailboats, so it's very scenic out there and oh. stuff like that. So... We're going to get out there, ride a bike around, or walk is that, around. Is something. that in this area? Yeah, it's, it's, it's about a 15, 10, 15 minute drive. Wow. Okay. So, well, today is not going to be that day, but we're, we are going to get out this week. And oh, yeah. We're going to um, we're gonna explore a little bit. Hey, we're going to be here for a while, so we might have to explore a lot. Yeah. So, but anyway, I'm still loving the site. I'm still loving the place. It is very nice and quiet. But I'm going to tell you what, I was looking outside the window last night because I kept seeing this light. I kept seeing like a flashlight. And I'm like, I wonder who is out with this flashlight. 
because I would see it come past the window and then go back the other way. And I'm just like, what are people doing? It was just a guy out walking his dog late last night. Oh. And he was over by the laundry room. And unintentionally, he was swinging his light because he was doing stuff. Because when we were on, uh, what was the one we just left? What? what? The previous one was Fort Leonard Wood. Fort Leonard Wood. Now, when we stayed at Fort Leonard Wood, we were in spot one. The lights were so bright. Oh, like, man. They, they were, it looked like daytime. I liked that. They had floodlights out there around the RV park. And yeah. when the sun went down, the lights came on. So it, it wouldn't get it much was darker. Bright light. <laughs> yeah. It was bright light. Now, when we here, it gets pretty dark because we're on the end. Yeah. We're not close to the street lights or anything. But it's cool, though. I, I'm just... When I hear something and I see something, I have to get up. And I'm like, what do you think you're going to see? <laughs> I've heard all these weird stories. I've heard all the stories of things happening on military bases because they have aliens in the basement. <laughs> now, I really, somebody really told me that before. And I'm just like... Dang aliens. I, I'm, I'm like, I, I don't believe... Because one lady was telling me... Now, this is for real. When I worked at... Uh, the Child Development Center. I, I worked there for a little while. They call it the CDC. I was telling people, I was like, girl, yeah, I work for the CDC. It was like, for real? I'm like, no, it ain't the CDC you think. It's, it's the Child Development Center. But when Donald and I were stationed in Fort Stewart, I worked at the CDC, and this lady was telling the story. Now, this is the director of the, C of the Child Development Center, and she was like, I was in here mopping the floor one night. She said, I was in her by myself. And this guy was in the hallway just looking at me. And he had on a really old, uh, like, World War II uh, Navy, I mean, out, like a uniform. uniform. And she was like, he didn't say nothing to me. I didn't say nothing. I just kept mopping. And she was like, and I looked up. He was still there. You know, he walked through then walk back out and then uh, eventually he left and I'm like really ma'am really ma'am I'm, I'm not saying that the stuff don't happen but if it were me and yeah. I was in there and I saw the man clear as day and I'm yelling out to him and he ain't saying nothing and I know ain't nobody supposed to be there but me and you I'm out yeah I'm out. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me again. So the next week, they had me on early morning duty, you know, for the soldiers uh, that, that have to be at work at 530 in the morning. Well, we had to open at 5 o'clock in the morning. And so they had me on the 5 a.m. schedule. And it was me and guess who? The lady who saw. Oh, my goodness. The creep. The, uh, <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> the, the specter. And I told her, I said, I don't mean no disrespect, and I'm not saying that I don't believe what you're saying, but can you not talk about that while we're here this morning, because it's just us, and it's still dark outside. Yeah. <laughs> and she just laughed, but I'm like, she's not like a lying type person, so... I, I mean, people say stuff. I, I don't like that. I, I just didn't like it. And then I'm like, then the next week, you put me on morning duty with you. I know he ain't coming to visit you again. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was weird. But oh, so anyway, when I saw the, the so that's why I brought it up. Because when I saw the light, I'm like, always in the back of my mind, I hear her story. And I'm just like, is it him walking with the flashlight? <laughs> That's funny. All these uh, lockers are in different places, but they're really cool. You just punch in your number from your phone for the most part, and then it opens and you just grab your box. I don't have anything major in there, but I'm going to show you guys what I ordered.
hey guys so it is the next day Donald and I are going to run in the Donald and I are about to run inside Walmart to get a few things that we need mm -hmm. we ran out of propane for our Blackstone and just personal items so we're gonna go inside so let's see what they have take it away take it away feeling too good to me chilling all day all in your space is where i want to be here in this room what did you do i just can't get enough too caught up in your love i've been trying to forget but you won't let me something in my brain wants you i've been hanging by myself asking for help but nothing seems to work on you yeah So we are leaving Walmart. I hate when you go to the grocery store and you haven't eaten because that means you're going to buy <laughs> any and everything, stuff that you didn't even need. But anyway, uh, I just had a taste for a BLT today. So I'm going to go home and make us some BLTs now. It's already 1030 and Donald has not eaten breakfast. So we're going to have to find him some breakfast somewhere. And then about 1 or 2 o'clock, I'll make um, BLT. the BLTs. You can. The fresh produce is basically empty today. I don't know if it went bad or people are buying it because in some states, school started back yeah. today and some are going back tomorrow. I'm like, wow, That's August. Early. I can remember when I was a kid, school started the day after Labor Day. But I still don't know what day Labor Day is. It, I always feel like it's that first Monday of September. Okay. I feel like that's what it is. I could be wrong, but because I remember we used to always go to school on a Tuesday. I felt like that <laughs> back in the 70s and 80s. We, school only started like that. But then the people who lived out, because I lived in the city of St. Louis, but the people who lived out in the county, well, they started start, uh, started starting school like the last week in August. And I was like, I'm like, ah, hi, I got to go to school early. I got to. <laughs> But they got out a week earlier too, yeah. so it worked out. But anyway, I went in to get me a budget book because I'm putting myself on a budget and I'm gonna force myself to stick to it because I have to come up with a lot of money in a short amount of time. And I can do it if I scale back on un unnecessary items that I buy. So I cannot buy anything else from Amazon and I'm cool with that. We'll see what happens. See what so happens. I have to I have to come up with a certain amount of money yeah. in 90 days. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it. There you go. Because I can do it. Oh, <laughs> a bird just hopped on our car. Just, is that good luck? <laughs> what kind of bird is that? I don't that? know. It's some kind of weird. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I wish I could show y'all. He looked like a. You look kind of weird. A wet chicken. There you go. That's exactly what he looked like. A wet brown chicken. That was gray, baby. Brownish gray. <laughs> I wish I wish we could have showed it to him. If I see him, we're gonna show it. To, oh, he all the way over there now. Yeah. And I, I was like, I'm, I'm, we need to record some outside activity, but I haven't been outside, and I'm gonna tell you why. Mm. We have these big flying green hard bugs and they fly hard and fast we used to, i think we used to call them june bugs i think we used to call them june bugs but they're in that tree that's right behind us and so i'm not able to get out you yeah. know what i'm saying like because i want to sit out but i can't like my neighbor she tried to sit out 
and they were just tearing them up. And I'm, they don't bite or anything, but they just fly. It's like they're blind. They yeah. fly right into you. Like, because <laughs> sometimes I hear something hit the trailer. I'm like, Donald, is somebody throwing rocks at our trailer? No, it's these darn bugs. And I mean, they fly fast. They're not cicadas, though. Because uh. I know what cicadas are. Anyway. We'll see you guys at the house. I'm going to find this man some food so he can eat and we can get this day started. All right, fam. All right. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to come back and show you what I got from Amazon because the place looked a little heavy to me. So I'm replacing my curtains. So I ordered these curtains from Amazon and they were really cheap. Well, I ain't going to say really cheap, but they were cheap. They were affordable. And I like the color. You, can see, you know I like this color because this is the color of my bedspread in my bedroom. But anyway, this is what I have done. And I like it a little better than those uh, cream colored curtains. Because to me, they're just a little heavy for right now. So I'm just going to put them away. And then when I do my Christmas I'll put them back up okay so that's what I'm doing right now and then I also got pillow covers from Amazon as well I love these pillow covers because I kept having too many pillows so I'm just gonna switch up the covers. so I'm gonna leave a link in the description of these pillow covers um, but I mean it just saves you room if you're like me I like to decorate for every holiday and everything and so when you get these pillow covers they cost way less than buying pillows and then you can just fold them and put them away for storage purposes so anyway once I get done because I'm cleaning the whole uh, trailer right now the RV I'm cleaning it right now and when I come back I'm going to show you the finished result I'm just I just feel like those curtains are a little bit heavy for right now and as you guys can see I am binge watching power I never thought I would want to watch power but it was nothing else on for me to binge watch I feel like I've been watched everything but I'm gonna binge watch another show about mermaids and so I'm gonna start that after I do this one this one has six seasons and I am right now on season four so when I get done with this, I'm going to move over to the mermaids. You know, I like sharks and mermaids. So anyway, after I clean up, I will bring you guys back. Hey guys, so I want to show you what the new curtains. Look, it's hard to get all this in. Let me try to get it in. So these are the new curtains. sorry I can't get y'all a good angle but I like it I like the way it turned out and everything so so I like the way everything turned out um, I don't know why it took me three days to record this video and you could hear the AC unit running it's like every time I press record the AC pops on but you got to get the house cooled off early so that when it does warm up it's not so hot in here but anyway i'm going to go ahead and put my liners back in the window let these shades down so we can stay cool but anyway th these were just the little touch-ups i did i think i like it a lot all right guys so thank you for joining me today well this has been like a three-day time span 
So thank you for sticking with me. I'm about to go outside with my honey bunny to see what he's got going on. I think we're going to go to some state park or something today. If so, we will see you in the next video with that footage. So thank you for tuning in. And remember, if you haven't become a member of All Things Peggy, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time we upload a video. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. God bless and have a good one. Until next time. Bye.